my channel. Um, for those of you who are new, my name is Kira. I am a second year med student and I just kind of post right now what's going on week to week in medical school. So follow along. have <laughs> just been go, go, go. Uh, since I've last posted, I've taken a final in GI, which covered hernias, small bowel obstructions, uh, pancreatic things, bile things in the gallbladder, uh, just a lot. Anything in this region was covered, pretty much. Um, so then we took a final, and right after the final, well, okay, that weekend after the final, we had some fun. We went to Halloween Horror Nights in Universal and just had a blast, like, being free, not thinking about school for a weekend, and getting scared, which was kind of cool. Um, if you haven't been, I can post a little bit uh, of the experience here. It's from a reel that's on my Insta slash TikTok, if you want to check that out. Um, the descriptions I can put down here, or my links, my names, all of the above. So that was the first week, 60, we finished GI. And then through week 61, we started endocrine. So the first two weeks, we're endocrine before the midterm, and then our midterm was like on the following Monday, this past Monday, which is crazy. This week's just been so long. Uh, during that time, not only was it endo endocrine, but also there was a huge hurricane that hit Florida, which affected like the whole other coast. Um, I go to med school in Florida, and it was just like chaotic to see everything that was going on there, and that was just a time because um, <laughs> you're studying but you're looking at the news, you're wondering if like everyone's okay, etc. So yeah, uh, that's also just add, added to everything that's going on. Um, so we've learned in endocrine all about like, it, so endocrine is like hormones and peptides and like things that happen that signal other things to happen. So for example, it would happen like the HPA axis, which is like your hypothalamus in your brain signals your pituitary, which signals like your adrenals or some other end organ. And they all have like different hormones that like follow this cascade. So they all have different names. So like CRH, CSH, etc. Like it's just a lot of, a lot of pathways is what endocrine is based on and like you have to like backtrack to figure things out because like if you have a lot of like an end product what happens is that goes and like tells the ones higher up in the pathway to like hold up and stop signaling it because you have enough in your body but like on the flip side if you have too little then like the top ones start signaling down to make more of it and then of course everything can go wrong with like tumors that like you know make it hypo, there's less of the hormone and like what happens with that and then hyper on the opposite sides, so maybe a tumor is secreting extra insulin for example and then everything that can go wrong with that. Um, so it was definitely pretty interesting to see all these pathways and they do make sense but they take time to like comprehend. Um, so that is like where I am with endo and this past, so this past Monday we had the midterm and this coming Friday, next Friday, we have the final. So like, I think the biggest difference from first year to second year, at least how my school is set up, is the pace of classes. Like, everyone is basically in just four weeks, and it's like two weeks midterm, two weeks final, which is nice because you get to really get a picture of what's happening in the system, and like you can reason things out better in my opinion because you you see the anatomy you see the physio you see the normal what happens and then you see like the pathology of what's bad that happens and then you have histology where you have images of stuff and 
there's a lot that goes on, but they're all related more, in my opinion, as opposed to like first year when you had anatomy, where it's just like memorize everything in the body. Like this one is more like you can see things like a start to end, if that makes sense. So uh, that is endocrine. And something that is also fun is this past Friday, yesterday, last night, um, Hugo, me, and probably, I don't know, 50 kids from the med school, professors, etc., locals in Miami, we all got to go to this um, fundraiser event where art was sold for our, I'm actually wearing the shirt, I did not plan this, but for the Mammography Art Initiative, which is something that our school uh is I, don't, I think it's pretty unique to do i don't i'm not positive though but it's something that our school definitely allows us to participate in in any facet possible um, but we have a van that goes around in the community and offers screenings for those who qualify um as far as like they don't have insurance and they're in the right age group and they're not pregnant and etc. Uh, a lot of screening tools, but uh, this thing that we went to last night was at the Museum of Graffiti in Miami, which was a really cool setting, and there was just a bunch of art like all through the museum that was going to be auctioned off. So it was really cool to go out, support this initiative, and just see a little bit more of Miami too, and not be studying for a little bit. Uh, so. That's a lot of information. It's been a little bit of time since I've last posted, but it's just because second year is like, go, go, go. And like, there's a lot of random things. Oh, also what, today I did a volunteer event with kids where we made little like lava lamps. We taught about um, density and polarity through it. So it's just been <laughs> different random things through med school, but the weeks are flying by. So that's kind of nice too, in a way. Uh, anyway, uh, hope you liked my little catch up on what happens behind the scenes in med school on a more day-to-day -day basis, and yeah, follow along. See ya.